So I'm assuming it's that guy. Wow. Good afternoon, folks, from the outskirts of Wuhan. I've just been to see some abandoned old buildings. Ghost town. And I've still got some charge in the battery on my camera. So I want to flip things on its head and go visit a big building, a big tall building, one of the tallest buildings in Wuhan, which apparently you can go up for free and it's got a pretty much panoramic view of the city. It's a nice, nice day, blue skies. So let's see if what I've read is true and you can actually go up this building for free. I didn't bring my passport, so fingers crossed you don't need ID to get in, but let's go have a look. Step one is a bus back into the city, then two different subway lines. So we're going to be a wee while, but let's get started. One thing with kids taking the bus here, whether they have to pay or not, depends on their height. If they're 1.3 meters or above, they're supposed to pay. Otherwise they're free. So don't have tall kids. Right, off the bus. I don't know what it is about buses in China, at least in Wuhan. They're bouncy as hell. I don't know if it's the roads aren't completely flat or if the buses have got some kind of wonky suspension, but you're often, yeah, bouncing. So try not to sit at the back. The back's the worst. But anyway, off the bus, uh, time to jump on the subway and then uh, transfer to another subway line. But anyway, let's get going. Also, our bus trip was slightly held up by a BMW who decided that parking in the middle of the road to do whatever they were doing is a great idea. So BMW drivers, eh? Is that a universal thing? I'm sure if you're a BMW driver, you're a great BMW driver, but I've seen a few who are kind of dicks. We are here at the sports center. We're heading to transfer to line one. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven stops. Two is approaching. For your safety, please let passengers. We're about to get on line one. The difference with line one from the other lines is it's an above ground line. Kind of like a monorail, but it's on two rails, so I'm not sure what you call it. An above ground train? But yeah, hopefully a better view than the subway. Line one, kind of unsurprisingly, is the original line here in Wuhan. So yeah, um, from my experience, it was always by far the busiest line. That and line two, but um, we'll see if that still holds up with there's so many more lines now. the light rail and need to be looking out for a big old office building in theory big old office buildings should be easy to find but you never know the subway has brought us out in the mall so I guess we need to get out of here and then yeah out onto the streets 
By the way, if you've never been to Pizza Hut in China, it's like a formal, fancy, not that fancy, but kind of fancy sit-down restaurant. Maybe what KFC, not KFC, Pizza Hut, at least in New Zealand, used to be like in the 80s. Yeah, not just takeaway. Eat in. Well, the map says this way. So I'm assuming it's that guy. That's a pretty big building. Now, I've had really bad luck with buildings so far. I've been to a museum on a Monday, which was closed. I tried the tallest building in Wuhan. The interior wasn't finished, so I couldn't go up. I'm honestly not holding my breath, but it'd be cool if we can get up there. Here it is, folks. This is called the Yuexiu Fortune Center. It's uh, basically a big office building. I think there is a bit of residential stuff, but it's primarily uh, an office building. I know SAP's up there and uh, by the, a bunch of other kind of Fortune 500 companies. So that sign says they've got, I think, rental spots available. If anyone's interested, we'll see what the view is like is first before you make your mind up. Okay, 37th floor, she tells us, we can get up. Success in a Wuhanese building, I don't believe it. Sky lobby. Ooh, where are we? Nope, oh, there's the one. 37. We're doing it, folks. We're inside a building. We didn't get rejected. I was honestly thinking, she's definitely gonna say, ah, oh, it's closed on the weekend. 37 though, this building is supposed to be like 60 floors, 68 floors. So is this halfway up or is each floor, like does each floor kind of count as two? That's a quick elevator, my ears are popping. Wow. It is deathly quiet up here. Whoa, look at that. That's not the Yangtze, that's the Han River that we went across the other day. And one of the bridges across it. Man, okay, what can we see? We can see the tower over that way on Gui Hill. What else? A bunch of like old community buildings there compared to the newer ones that you can see like off in the distance. That's a lot of weekend traffic, but I feel like for China, it's not too bad. It's still moving. Man, those apartments are just as tall as this building. We must be only halfway up. We must be only halfway up the building. If those apartments, if those apartments are as tall as this building, because yeah, I've lived in an apartment building in China which was around 40 floors, so this is 37. So yeah, this building must go even higher, but the viewing level is just here on 37. Man, there's people who literally live higher than this viewing platform. It's quite a view. Quite a view. People hanging their washing out there. Hmm. It's not quite a full 360 degrees. You can see this area is all kind of sealed off. Oh, but you can go higher. What does that say? It's all blocked off. What does it say? Please swipe your personal card to enter the working area. Right, so that area is only for staff. The staff get the best views. And the shoes are squeaking on this floor. These windows could use, windows could use a clean. Man, look, this is all the old, these are all the old style communities, which to be honest, these days are going more and more by the wayside. They knock them down, 
and build more of those big boys. I don't know if you guys can see it down there, but just along there is the train tracks for the light rail that we just came on. And there's just one train heading across now. That's probably the same line that we came in on with the station just over here. Looks like a little library over here. Maybe a cafe. Maybe we can get a coffee. Yeah, 多少钱呢？嗯，二十。没有，我不记得了。我收的问题什么叫？你来评，你老师就你来评。你们几点要下班呢？五点。五点，那还可以。嗯。哎，您您那坐一会儿，我帮您搬过来。好，行。好，谢